Hello everybody and welcome back to just a quick little video that I have for you guys today. Now what we're going to be doing today is, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be installing a SD card reader that I purchased on Cyber Monday. We're going to be uh, installing this in my main PC rig right here. And I would have made this video, you know, a lot earlier um, because as I said, I did purchase this on Cyber Monday from Newegg, but it's taken longer than I thought uh, to actually get to my house. It actually just showed up here today. And, you know, this is the box that it came in. It actually came in a, uh, you know, pretty big new egg box right here. So we're going to be, uh, you know, opening this thing up and putting it into my uh, new, well, not new, but my, you know, main PC rig right here. And I'm thinking that if I can fit it right on, you know, the top slot right here above the CD drive, you know, right there, um, I'm thinking that is going to be the best place for it. Um, because ma the main reason that I purchased this, and this was, I, I think, about 50 or 60% off. This thing, I, th I think I purchased this for, like, um, 15 or $16, and it is normally, like, I think it was, like, $25, 25 or $30. I'm going to have the uh, link to this item right uh, down below in the video description. So if you guys, you know, want to get this one, because I was looking at a lot of these because there's a ton of these SD card readers and I was looking between Newegg and Amazon and I you know just decided uh, to go with this one because it seemed like it was you know somewhat high quality and it seemed like it would be uh, you know like it would match the um, you know like the whole uh, actual case design that I have here so I'm just going to be actually not really sure what the best way of doing this would be I guess is I can kind of aim it down at the ground there and just you know cut this thing open uh, and we're going to be just seeing what's in here so yeah so this is the actual adapter right here i'm going to pull out the packing slip and set that aside but it comes in this you know pretty nice little box here and this is what that it looks like i, I got one that comes with a usb 3.0 port that is something that i did want because uh the only ports on the front of this uh case right now are usb 2.0s um, they, they actually look like USB 3.0s on the camera right now because of the like because of the lighting. Um, so I you know I, I did want to get something that would have a USB 3.0 port, but it has a, a lot of um, you know options of actually fitting in a bunch of different types of multimedia cards. But the main thing is an SD card slot, because what I've been having to do for when when I transfer video from you know my main camera right here, what I have to do is use. Let me see if I can quickly find it here. I got to use this thing, which is USB 2.0, and even if it was USB 3.0, I would only get USB 2.0 speeds. Um, but this is a, a you know standard little SD to USB adapter. It's not really focusing in here. Um, come on, focus. So yeah, it's an SDHC uh, USB 2.0 adapter, and I think that I got this for about five dollars a couple years ago. So. You know, I just kind of had it, um, and yeah. So this fits into a three and a half inch bay, as you can see right here, and these are five and a quarter inch bays. So what I'm gonna ha probably having to do is either if this comes with a three and a half inch to five and a quarter inch adapter, which I'm not sure if it does, because um, I did not see it. Uh, sh like, because you know how like online uh, Newegg usually shows what comes in the box. It did not show that it has that. What I'm going to probably have to do is use the bottom uh, bay right there. So I'm going to probably have to move this one up here, and or I just might have to put it down there. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to fit it up in this top bay because there's, there's a bunch of wires up here on top of this CD drive, um, and I might have to you know move those around. So. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just open this thing up. I'm gonna kind of do it at a at this weird you know position here. It comes in this in this really nice packaging. Um, I'm just gonna kind of take this off here, and this is the device itself right here. And then it's kind of got this little pull out tab right here, which just do this off camera because I can't do it on camera all the time. <laughs> Um, and it's got, yeah, this, you know, nice little, you know, that's, that's the device itself. It's made out of like almost, uh, like a metal type material. And that's another really nice thing about this is a, a lot of the other ones were made out of like, uh, you know, plastic. And, uh, a lot of the people said that it was like really cheap plastic 
and those were like I think ten dollars and I just figured for five dollars more I get something that's made out of like an actual uh, you know sturdy material um, and on the end here it looks like we actually have we have uh, your uh, you, you know USB 3.0 which this would plug into the USB 3.0 header on the motherboard and then there's a USB 3.0 uh, like cable which I'm not really sure what that is I guess that's to I actually see what that's for. I guess it's to plug into the back of here or something. Yeah, I, I guess that plugs into the back of here to give it, yeah, to give you access to the port. I'm assuming that's what that is. So that that probably has to go into there and then, because it just all, because, you know, this cable splits off into both of those. So I'm actually kind of worried now if this, because I, I don't even know if that's going to reach to the USB 3.0 header on my motherboard. Um, and sorry for, like, the weird camera work, but again, I'm at a very odd uh, angle as I literally in every single one of these videos I am at a very odd angle and I'm it's very difficult for me to you know do these um, and we got these nice little cards here I guess that kind of say like we want to hear from you you know give us like a, a you know good review on new egg and stuff like that um, the manuals in a different language I guess, oh, on this side it's English, okay, so this kind of tells you how to actually uh, use it right there, so that's pretty nice, but, you know, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, you just got to plug it into the USB uh, header on your motherboard, and then we have some screws, which are going to be very useful as well, because I don't have any screws uh, lying around. Alright, so I was able to get the, uh, like, the front three and a half inch panel out of this bigger five and a quarter inch panel right there so so this will just you know slide in here nicely of course i'm you know doing it backwards but um yeah i'm trying to get these these things out of here and it's just not like i don't know how to get them out because i want to move this one up to the top up here because i just want to have you know like i just want this to be on the top that's just a lot easier than having to have it all, all the way on the bottom i mean i can do it on the bottom if i have to i might ha end up having to anyway if this cord is too small um, the only thing I'm going to lose because my current USB 3.0 um, this port right here is plugged into the USB 3.0 header and this is it's on the very top of the case so you know I'm, I'm not gonna have access to this anymore which isn't that huge of a deal um, I, I would rather have you know this one anyway because um, you know it's it's like right on the front of the case as opposed to the top it's just easier to get to so I'm going to be trying to figure out how to get these things in here, and I'm going to hopefully try to, I think I finally found a way to do this and, uh, you know, record it at the same time. I think I just got to do it right here, so hopefully if I just, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think I just got to get like a flathead screwdriver or something and pry it out. I mean, I was nervous to do that because, of course... It, is that what I did when I first got this? I don't really remember, but I'm gonna get my toolkit here, my iFixit toolkit that has like all these, you know, the 54-bit driver kit. They did make like a 64-bit a driver kit now. They have like all a uh, whole new one, which is super nice. Actually, I don't even need this screw. I can just get one of the priors, um, one of these things, and just see if this works. There we go. Okay. That those are really held in there um, So yeah, so that's gonna so I'm just gonna basically move this one down to here and move this up here First off though. I want to see if this is actually going to reach because right now it does not Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's put this in here let's Just run these cables. I'm gonna bump the camera. Let's yeah, that should reach it should reach perfectly fine because the USB 3 header is right over here so you can't see it, but it's right there under my GPU and this mess of cables over here. I know this isn't the you know best cable job in the world, but you know it works, and it's kind of the way that this case is. I kind of have to run these cables all all over the place. Um, but yeah, that'll that, that'll definitely reach. So uh, let's just go, let's just get this thing. Uh, let's just get the the bottom panel off here. Or is this one permanently in here? That would be. Oh, that might be what it is. Oh, if that if that's really the case, I think it might actually be because of the fan that's right under it, or, or because of this grill. Well, I assume that you know it's 
that that way for a reason because there's bolts in here like there's a there, there's a second piece inside of here I know you guys can't really see it but there's a second piece in here for actually mounting a, like a small little card reader like this so yeah it's got to go on the bottom so these panels can just go right back up here because I was like why is this one taking it's so hard to get off and all these other ones just pop out like so okay well, good to know. All right, guys, so that is just about going to wrap it up for this uh, quick little video, this, you know, a, qu a quick little part installation. You can see that it uh, fits nice and snug um, right here in the case. And I don't think, even think that I said, like, who this product is by, but it's by um, Orco uh, Leading Technology. But, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it seems to be a, a, you know, very nice product. I'm going to be seeing if it actually works, and I'm going to be trying it out. Um, with the footage from this video, you know, once I move it over to, to my PC to, you know, begin editing it and everything. So, yeah, guys, I, uh, you know, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to like and subscribe for, you know, uh, to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.